A few days ago, ChatGPT released Search, a new feature that allows you to get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources. And it appears to be what this little icon is. So in this video, we are going to look through this new feature and see if it's worth checking out. Let's get into it. Before going through this article, I have two quick thoughts. The first is, and I might be wrong with this, did ChatGPT have this feature months ago? I remember using a search feature within ChatGPT. You would type in a prompt, like what is the weather like in California during the summer? And it would search the web and actually provide sources. So I'm not quite sure why this is considered a new feature, unless I'm misremembering something. Please write in the comments below if you remember this as well. My second thought is that they're directly targeting Perplexity AI. This is what Perplexity is known for, searching the web and providing sources. So with this brand new ChatGPT update, and if it works like it should, we theoretically have no more need for this app, which is disappointing because they filled a gap in this marketplace for a long time. But let's go through this article and see what we can gather. Okay, first we have this little video and the user is clicking on the web icon and it's searching within ChatGPT, planning a road trip and you get some image results. Looks like it's taken from Google and we got sources at the bottom. Looks like Wikipedia is one of the sources. Where can I grab dinner? It's giving a bunch of options. Looks like these are sourced as well. What's the weather going to be like? Grabbing live updated weather, that's pretty cool. What's the one thing I can't miss? Here are some tourist attractions. I think the plan is for this to replace Google. Will people actually go to ChatGPT for their searches instead of typing their search in Google? It's an interesting futuristic question. Okay, ChatGPT can now search the web in a much better way than before. You can get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources, which you would have previously needed to go to a search engine for, like Google. This blends the benefits of natural language interface with the value of up-to-date sports scores, news, stock quotes, and more. You know, this would be really nice in the API. ChatGPT will choose to search the web based on what you ask, or you can manually choose to search by clicking the web search icon. This reminds me of tools in the API. You can prompt it to search my knowledge base for answers and you get like a 50% hit rate, or you can modify your API call to use the file search tool. And that forces the assistant to use the tool. Same idea, if you click on the search icon, it is going to search the web regardless. If you don't have this button searched, it will decide whether or not it needs to search the web. Search will be available at chatgpt.com as well as on our desktop and mobile apps. All ChatGPT Plus and team users, as well as SearchGPT waitlist users, will have access today. Now, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is for another video. Enterprise and EDU users will get access in the next few weeks will roll out to all free users over the coming months. So hang tight, all free users. Designed to get you a better answer. Getting useful answers on the web can take a lot of effort. It often requires multiple searches and digging through links to find quality sources and the right information for you. Now with chat, it can get you to a better answer. Ask a question in a more natural, conversational way, and ChatGPT can choose to respond with information from the web. Go deeper with follow-up questions, and ChatGPT will consider the full context of your chat to get a better answer for you. And that's definitely true. It's better to ask a question in a search engine, like where can I grab dinner on a Friday night? That feels more natural than dinner, Positano, Friday night, and then see what Google comes up with. We also partner with news and data providers. Very interesting to add up-to-date information and new visual designs for categories like weather, stocks, sports, news, and maps. And what they mean is when you search for weather, you get this visual design. You have the cloud coverage, the date of the week, the temperature, a little description. With stocks, you get the graph. All right, that's pretty neat. 
You can ask ChatGPT some information about the stock. You know, maybe ask it, is it worth buying right now? For sports, you got a schedule and you got the logos of the basketball teams. News looks like this, a bit of a news grid. And then maps shows you a map. And look at this, you actually get the icons on the maps showing exactly where that location is. That's pretty neat. Go straight to the source. Chats now include links to sources, such as news articles and blog posts, giving you a way to learn more. All right, this way you can prove that ChatGPT is not hallucinating. Click the sources button below the response to open a sidebar with the references. That is pretty awesome. I'm going to test this out in a second. ChatGPT search connects people with original high quality content from the web and makes it part of their conversation. By integrating search with a chat interface, users can engage with information in a new way while content owners gain new opportunities to reach a broader audience. We hope to help users discover publishers and websites while bringing more choice to search. We collaborated extensively with news industries and carefully listened to feedback from our global publisher partners, including Associated Press, you know, Financial Times, News Corp, Routers, The Atlantic, and any website or publisher can choose to appear in ChatGPT search. Just email publishersfeedback at openai.com. How it works and what comes next. The search model is a fine-tuned version of GPT-4 Omni, post-trained using novel synthetic data generation techniques, including distilling outputs from OpenAI O1 Preview, ChatGPT search leverages third-party search providers, as well as content provided directly by our partners to provide the information users are looking for. Makes sense. They have a bunch of news providers, and they are getting that data in the results. Thanks to feedback from the Search GPT prototype, we brought the best of Search GPT experience into ChatGPT. We plan to keep improving search, particularly in areas like shopping and travel. Oh, I can see a real use case for shopping. Ask ChatGPT what you're looking for, and it can provide you some stores where you can buy that product. I could see how being a store and getting on ChatGPT would be huge for your business and leverage the reasoning capabilities of the OpenAI O1 series to do deeper research. We also plan to bring our new search experience to advanced voice and canvas, as well as to free and logged out users in the future. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we're in ChatGPT. Let's test it out, search the web. And right now it gives me a bunch of options. It looks like these are trending in the news. Let's click on Mark Cuban. We're getting Mark Cuban companies. It got this information from this source. We have recent news and it's a lot of political stuff. We got some sources down here. If I click on the sources, it opens up the bar on the right side. And one, two, three, four, five, 16 citations and search results. So it's pulling a lot of data into your search. Let's try another one. We got a bunch of NBA games going on right now. Let's see if it can pull live data, Let's send it in. And this is the time right now. Let me cross reference this. Okay, it's slightly behind. So it says 78 to 75 here. And the live data is 92 to 87. Four minutes has passed. I think this is probably good enough for most use cases. Let's see if I can dig deeper. Can it get me stats? It says Zion is leading and Zion has 18, but this could have changed says eight of 12. Okay, it's accurate, eight of 12. He must have hit a free throw in that time. Let's write who plays tomorrow and who is the favorite. And the citations and search results keep changing on this right-hand side. Oh, look at this, Boston at Charlotte. Here we go, Saturday, Boston at Charlotte. Boston is an 11 and a half point favorite. Right here it's saying Boston is an eight and a half point favorite. I wonder which one is updated. Is ESPN the updated one or ChatGPT? I'm on Pinnacle trying to find this out, but they don't have the Boston game. So let's use Grizzlies at 76ers. Memphis is a two and a half point favorite. ChatGPT says Philadelphia is a five point favorite. And here Grizzlies two and a half point favorite. So ChatGPT appears to be behind. 
and it seems to be pretty consistently behind. But again, I don't know how important live up-to-date information is when you're using something like ChatGPT. If it wants to eventually replace something like Google or Bing or other search engines, it needs to be up-to-date. But at this point, I think it's okay. But realize that this is a current limitation. If you want to run a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, check out my web app that I have built live on this channel. It's called YourAIAgent.com. We have a few playlists. If you want to know how to set up and run your own AI agents, check it out. If you want to learn how to build your own AI apps, I've built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. Right now it's hosted on Kajabi and I'm thinking about moving it to Udemy. If you want to see that, write me a comment about it below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.